So I know that OpenAI gets a lot of love or love in terms of just attention when they release new models. Um, I wanted to kind of give some love to Gemini as well, Google's model. And I think the best way to do that is to actually just do like a little head-to-head -head shootout between the new Gemini 1.5 Pro, which you can see right here. And then of course, the ChatGPT 01-Dash Preview. And I think in kind of fitting with the theme of my channel, the best way to go about doing that is to actually just give them a programming challenge and see how they do with specific emphasis on how few times you actually need to reprompt it with saying, okay, but this is an error here or anything. So basically we want the least amount of attempts to actually get functional code that doesn't produce an error. So to do this, I am just testing Gemini 1.5 Pro in the Google Cloud here in the Vertex AI Studio. And it's just kind of simple. I've noticed one thing about Gemini is it's extremely fast in its responses, like really quite impressive. And it's also actually citing sources below the response sometimes. So just kind of some interesting stuff I've noticed. Now, the way that I'm going to do this is I have one simple prompt here that I actually had Claude kind of <laughs> make it a better prompt. So essentially the gist of it is we're creating a Python script that creates a 25 key piano keyboard. It will be centered around middle C of the keyboard so that um, the keys on either side are a little higher, a little lower, but so the pitches are something that you could probably easily hear through the speakers. And it just kind of goes through and gives it some specific things and points to note and optional enhancements if time allowed implement key release detection so the sound stops when the mouse button is released, and add a volume control for the audio playback. So essentially, I'm gonna make this video super simple and quick. I'm basically gonna copy paste this in and we'll test the AI. So seeing that I do have Google here open, we are going to test the Gemini 1.5 Pro first and foremost. And you can see that it kind of puts it out here. Now, I'm not using Gemini through like the normal way that I think you can access it, which is more of like a web interface like ChatGPT. So I'm just doing it in the cloud studio. So if it looks a little odd, that's why. But we can see that it tells you how many tokens your query was, so your input. And if you actually click on that, I'll try it later. I think it actually shows you the specific breakdown of which word is a token. And then it gives you a timer and Kind of, okay, so here's our script. Oh, so that's interesting. Okay, so I need to obtain WAV files for each of the piano notes within the range. Now, I don't want to do that. I want this to just kind of map what they would be in terms of pitch. So I'm going to suggest that real quick. All right, so I'm just uh, saying to it, okay, I don't actually want to do all that work. I just want them kind of mapped to the pitch that they would represent on a key. I understand that it would kind of be the same. So when it's doing it here, all right, it now generates the sound directly using a sine wave, which is what we want. And it's kind of showing me how it did that, some error handling, and awesome. Now, because I want to be not lazy, but let's just say efficient. Please generate the entire updated script. I spelled updated wrong, it's okay. <laughs> and I, I do believe, so if I click on that, it, yep, so it actually shows you the specific tokenization of the input string. So you can kind of see each one of these different blocks is a specific token. So. Here, you can see the two and five are broken up. The dash is its own token, key, piano, keyboard, and it gives you the token ID. So just kind of cool. And then the token ID is kind of how it's being seen. So just a little more like a, in terms of the backend side of things like this. All right, so I've rambled on a bit. So now we are going to take our fully generated script here. I'm going to simply copy it 
and bring it into Visual Studio Code. And apparently all I need here is Pygame and Math, which are in this environment. So we'll save it as Gemini Piano. Oh, okay. And I will go ahead and run this and we'll see how and if it works. Ooh, okay. I've seen this error before. Array must be two-dimensional for stereo mixer. So it needs basically just going to give it this error and have it fix it. So basically, the, the test here is just kind of to show currently, in terms of programming, these can't really replace someone in their entirety. However, if you have minimal programming knowledge, this essentially accentuates your ability to actually produce working and functional code as opposed to not having this tool. So, and once again, it's kind of trying to be short with me and just giving, please give. All right. So as we wait for that to happen, we'll just kind of here. And I didn't change any of the temperature limits or anything like that. So I just kept it at one. So just midway between wild and not wild. <laughs> All right, so we have, once again, our script, and I will go in, just replace this, I'll clear the terminal, so if we do get new error messages, it's easy to copy-paste. So we're getting more errors, which is kind of frustrating, because I have actually played with Gemini independently of what I'm doing right here. And it, it is good, so this is kind of disappointing. And again, it's not generating the entire updated script, so. Right, so it's gonna just try this one more time. And if it doesn't get it here, I may, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so please work this time. Okay, so we have our key on screen. And if I click one, let's just kind of go up to, so. Okay, so the black key work. All right, so we're we're kind of working. Some of the keys don't really seem like they're mapped properly. Um, this does, and it seems like it's trying to hit both at the same time when I hit the black key, but. All right, so. I would say this this partially worked. I'm not going to try to get it perfect right here because I want to move on to actually testing the other model as this is a 
head-to-head -head comparison as opposed to just a single model demonstration. I will say that it did a nice job actually drawing the graphical elements of the keyboard, so I, I will give it that. You can see that it did match the note frequencies here. It's just, um, yeah, the, the keys are... Uh... So, all right, well, so that was our Gemini test. So I'm just gonna jump straight into ChatGPT and do the same thing over again. And this is GPT-01 preview. So the quote unquote, like Mac Daddy version of what's available right now. Although I think I saw something that 01 Mini might be better at programming, but I just am gonna try it here and we'll see how this goes. And we'll see if this comes out with the sounds already set to produce like a sine wave like the other one did, or if it wants me to um, give it the wave files for the corresponding sound, which is how Gemini first. Um... Okay, so there it said generating sound waves. I'm kind of interested in seeing what that. I'm calculating the sine waves for each musical note using number. Okay, so this kind of got it on the first first shot, which was to just programmatically link everything rather than have me need to give it sound files or anything. So you can definitely see it's it's doing its thinking here, which is interesting to see, and I'm sure you've probably seen a lot of it at this point just in any demonstration videos of this new, because the, the kind of self-reflection thing is one of the big things that's been touted as um, adding to its ability and you can see it's really like, this is an extremely, extremely in-depth, so thought for 83 seconds. All right, interesting. That's cool, so that's how it's kind of getting the keys. All right, and I'm really, you know what, I'm just not gonna look at the code. I'm just gonna copy paste and see. And I do have all of these libraries already in my environment that I'm using, so we'll copy paste and we'll see what we need to do to get this working. All right, I will clear the terminal in case there are messages. Okay, and so this is one place they both kind of got messed up on is the sound generation like mono or stereo or some form of issue. Yes, because the sine wave is mono one channel, so we need it. Okay. So, okay, again, I'm not going to. So here's the updated script with the changes applied. And it is nice to see that it's not just putting in comments here like generate sine wave function remains the same, so I would have to manually copy-paste it, so. I mean, that is partially laziness, but also partially from an efficiency standpoint, you would just like it to do that itself. So. All right. Now, we'll try this once more. And again, not happy and just giving me errors when I try. So as we can see here, both of these models have not managed to actually generate a functional script from the initial prompt. So just kind of interesting to see where we're at in terms of, a lot of people talk about this replacing software engineers and things like that, which ultimately is a very real possibility. The time frame in which that may occur, occur is obviously kind of questionable, but it does allow you to program things that may be above your skill level if you even know enough to just kind of copy paste the terminal errors until it gives the right script, which when ChatGPT came out wasn't necessarily something that you could do without fail, but now it's kind of you're almost limited to your 
message cap. So we'll try this one more time. Okay, so, all right then. All right, so this one did get all the sounds correct. Um, it seems like there's still maybe a bit of confusion with the black keys, but, and it's just a simple tone. So how many tries was that here? So that was, go away, Doug. Uh, I think that was like three or four for this. So the Gemini one seems to have needed a bit more time to get things correct. And I mean, I guess we could subtract one from it because it wanted me to give it wave files first. So I had to tell it, no, I'm not doing that. But I will say, so it seems like functionally the O1 preview script is better in terms of actually playing more sounds. However, I will say that the Gemini one, this looks way better. So aesthetically, I would say this did far better than the GPT one because this looks more like a keyboard. The GPT one's kind of like, it's almost as if you would like scale it to a non like equal, um, you know, view, so. And you can see this one actually seems to have done like a little bit of a uh, a timer. So when you press it, it kind of plays for a second or so and then stops as opposed to the GPT one, which is just kind of like an on off switch. So interesting just how they approach the same general thing differently. Oh, hey, so we did get a black key working here. issue with this one is the lower keys just aren't working but so the black keys there actually were working so that's good to see and I'll just run the GPT one again once more and you can see this one doesn't necessarily look as good but it's functionally like and again it's the on off so sorry I can do that all day I don't know why it's just... <laughs> but yeah so just kind of a short little comparison. And again, I am not going to go tell the GPT one like, hey, the black keys aren't working because in this test, I only wanted to get these scripts to a point where they were not producing any terminal errors. And that's kind of where we got it. So I don't know, I just kind of wanted to do a quick little comparison between showing them and things like that because I noticed that Google's AI doesn't necessarily get as much love in terms of like the hype machine and social media coverage as OpenAI does. And some of the Gemini models are truly rather impressive in some of their capabilities. They are definitely strengths and weaknesses between the different models from the different providers. I purposely left Claude out of this because I don't think it would be fair to compare Claude Sonnet with these two models. Um, I believe once the Opus model comes out, which is, I think, going to be metaphorically in the same playing field as like O1 and Gemini 1.5 Pro, just in terms of when you actually compare the models. So I just used Claude here to actually help me fine tune my prompt. So just wanted to do a quick test and see how things came out.